Timothy Talk 12 here and welcome back to a bit of Railroads Online. I'm back on the AD&D with Evil One. Uh, I'm having to record the intro for myself because he did it separately, so I can't just steal his this time. There has been a update to Railroads Online uh, and there has been some new stuff added, but I haven't looked at that in this video, so if you want to see the update stuff, then uh, go and check out Evil One's video because he goes over it at the start. But with that out of the way, let's jump right in. There it is. Locomotive number three, error. It's the Cook 260. And it is all ready to go. So, Tidmouth, um, what exactly do you want to do? Well, I should t first I should tell you that I did actually fill the sawmill pretty much all the way up. Um, so, obviously, we want to run some trains. Do you want to do what you were doing last time we played? Take the flat state cars from the sawmill up to the iron ore mine? Yeah, I can do that. That's not going the right way, is it? Oh, yeah, you're good. Oh, wait, wait, that's a three-way, isn't it? Yeah. That's a three-way. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Three-ways. Oh, like the, the lever goes the... Well, the post thing goes the wrong way from the way you'd expect, and it's directional based on which side you're facing it from. Right. A little more. There we go, capture. And I'll get the brakes. Get the cinematic shots and suddenly saw a man standing on the side of the line. <laughs> uh, which platform am I lighting up for here? Um, you can take a mixed train if you want. I think. We can do, uh, this, you got eight cars, so you can, if you do half and half, I'm sure that'd be fine. You'll probably fill up one of them faster than the other. I forget what we actually have up there as far as what's already up there. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's empty. That's probably good. All right, I'll get you going here. Um, so while you're doing this... I will take trial, get some more logs, because we're not quite full up here. I think it's like two more trains or so. And then I'll start running uh, iron ore. Does that work? Yep. All right. I'll leave you to it then in your capable hands. <laughs> <laughs> Lab and they add like little signposts to this game so you can just have an easy thing to line up with. I know, and we've been asking for that for a long, long time now, and it's. I just wish they would give it to us. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's a, a big ask. But I'm not a game developer, so I don't really know. No. I suppose it depends whether, like, the signs have, like, editable text and stuff as well. Because then they've got to consider, like, how much space is there on the sign and, like, like what, what you need to do to keep the text within the boundaries of the sign and not just float off in space. Yeah. But, I mean, I would be happy with a simple flag with nothing written on it. Yeah. Or just some pre-made signs. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know uh, American Railroad history, so I don't really know what kind of signposts they would have had at this point. Probably just, like, 
wooden posts with like chalk or paint on them, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I would assume too in narrow gauge that there wasn't very many signs, unless it was like in in an urban, a more urban area. No. Yeah. Well, apparently you can enter the cook mogul from like standing up at the front. <laughs> Maybe they've fixed the uh, getting in and out of locos now. I didn't see anything about that. Maybe I did, but I'm, I'm I don't think I did. Uh, you were standing in front of the locomotive, and you just were able to get into it. Yeah, I was standing like looking at the little like uh, lamp brackets at the front. Oh, what weird. Leaving the sawmill. Uh, assume the route's already set. I did not set your switches. I am so sorry. Alright. Um, using this post right here in line with the, the car as kind of a measuring thing. Since we don't have flags or signs yet. I mean, I suppose in a way it's partly because it's a multiplayer game, so you're supposed to be doing it with other people, but the number of people well, play this game on their own anyway. <laughs> I know, right? And even even multiplayer, you know, it's it's great to have help, but honestly, I'd rather have you in your own train and me in my own train, like we're doing, you know? That way we maximize efficiency. And it's more fun to have more trains going about. Yeah. Especially when they, you know, have to pass each other or collide. Or do that whole leapfrogging thing we were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I would be very curious to see, like, when they've, like, ironed out sort of the popcorning and stuff to sort of, like, how many people you could get playing on a server at once. That would be insane. Really hope they fix the client side thing of just the the couple of pins is reloading. Oh, with the sound. Yeah. So like when you get within range of a. A couple of pin. Or sort of if a couple of pin goes out of range and comes back in, you hear the cling as it comes clang, back clang, in. Clang, 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 clang. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see anything like that in the notes. <laughs> no, I'm still hearing it now. So. <laughs> oh, great. I think they, they must be conscious of it because they've added it as a sound from like their the Discord server. Oh really? Yeah. So on the railroads Discord server they've got a bunch of soundboard stuff. So when everyone call with snow is just spamming a cling cling button. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm actually gonna take this log train back to the freight depot. Get some iron ore hoppers. I'll start running those. Full on beams up here. I don't know if I might have to bring some oh. back with me. Uh oh. <laughs> well, if you just offload them, uh, we, we could that's just like selling them, right? Well, I don't know. It's, I think if, if the platform's full, it doesn't let you unload them. Oh, gotcha. Pretty 
Or you could just wait until the there's space. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's ticking down because I've put the lumber in. Now we're going to go into our new locomotive shed here and find a hopper. Devs must have been listening to us. I swear I mentioned something along those lines the other day. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to pull the new ones. The Carter Brothers. It's the same capacity, it looks like. Yeah, I think they're, they're, they're completely identical. I just have, uh, well, they're identical in everything except look. <laughs> what color do I like? Oh, the black ones for sure. It's number seven. I think this is a 600 series, so we'll go 601 for that one. AD 70. 750 dollars. Not cheap. Order a few more of those. So now they just need uh, like categories, so I don't have to click through everything to try and find something, you know? We're just so needy. You're good to have an option to buy in bulk as well, like if you're buying a set of wagons, you're gonna want to yeah. buy more than one most of the time. So. Yeah, I want to buy seven of them, you know? Quantity, seven. <laughs> I think we're going to need another locomotive soon and somebody else to start running logs, just continuously running logs. Forgotten the names I'd come up with for the fourth, fourth and fifth locomotive. A <laughs> uh, uh, risk and rewards of it. That's right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I'm standing at the front of this uh, trial, staring at the big number two at the very nose of it, and I can press enter or F to enter the locomotive. Huh. So yeah. With the, the new UI changes. I guess they must have made it so you can basically just enter the train from anywhere <laughs> yeah I didn't see that in the in the notes though well, that's helpful you don't have to jump onto the cab and stare at the boiler I'm just loading the last wagon it's gonna be a race up the hill isn't it <laughs> uh I'm still I still gotta hook up a, a locomotive or a, a, a hopper car well, either way, I'm probably going to have to sit and wait at the top for you to uh, come up and <laughs> not be coming up the hill. Oh. Maybe. Depends if you can get back down by, by the time I'm ready to leave. Are you just now leaving the sawmill? Um, still loading the last wagon. But okay, yeah, you said that. Annoyingly, the... Uh, is it... I think I've rendered this since it's gotten shorter. I feel like I can't see the end of the train anymore. Oh, that's not good. Like, it seems to be, like, if you're a certain distance away, you can't even see the cranes moving anymore. Like, the cranes just disappear. Aww. Such a great multiplayer game. I know, right? <laughs> like, it's fantastic if you're the, the client, or the, the host. But for clients, yeah. 
Yeah, popcorn and poor render distance. Uh, what else? The clinging noise. <laughs> the clinging noise, the inability to set track, link track. Gosh, seems like there's always something. All right. Coming up to your three way switch. I'm trying to roll through and switch it for you. Uh, didn't give myself enough momentum. <laughs> oh, it's all right. I can I can switch it. I slowed way down, so. Last wagon should be clear now. Yep. Oh, stop! 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 <laughs> yeah, floating John Rowardson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm now behind you. I can barely see the end of my own train half the time, so I'm gonna say nothing <laughs> apart from just a floating man in the <laughs> distance. <laughs> It's weird that that renders from a distance, but not, like, trains and wagons. Right? Like, the trees as well, like, it's... They had it so, like, they, they had, like, a low-poly render for trees in the distance, like, they could save so much, like, resources, I'm sure of it. Everything else renders except for the part that you really need to see, yeah. <laughs> Can you see me? Yep. <laughs> do you magic. see John Robertson or do you see the locomotive as well? I, I see a magic flying man coming down the track. <laughs> nice. Oh, I better break. I'm gonna. I'm about to derail your last car. Oh, now I see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slowing a bit. I was able to make it up with half and half, but I have switched to like a third and two thirds, so I might need to push. Okay. Change to three and five, see if that's any better. Coming up on ya. I'll just gently kiss ya. Try not to give too much pressure, but I'm at full reg now. I'm trying to push ya. So Uncoupled, of course. Wow, that's a heavy train. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that uh, that lumber weighs a lot more than me. For sure. We're going, I think my chuffing is speeding up. We're at two miles an hour. Mine sounds kind of steady, I think. Sand I don't think it makes any difference whatsoever, but... Yeah, and there's there's features like that in this game I really wish were actually functional. You know, like the sanding, uh, the uh, steam cocks, the reverser. But I hear uh, Heiss and crew have actually made their own version of Railroads Online. The, it looked kind of interesting, and I'm, I'm hoping that they do implement some of that into, you know, more or less this game. And I think they have tunnels too. <laughs> yeah, the tunnels looking oddly familiar to one of the ones you showed off in a Railroads <laughs> Online like dev build. <laughs> I'll certainly download it and play it when it becomes available, if it ever makes it. That's always a big if. 
think they're very preliminary at this stage, but... I'm kind of hesitant. If, if it's still going to be just Railroads Online again, I don't really want to pay for, like, another full price game. <laughs> no, I'm biased being from uh, Britain, but I still want something a bit less American as well. But, <laughs> like, we're going to have a, an all-new game, but, rather, like, looking at, like, I don't know, sort of Railroads in Europe, or maybe, like, uh... Like building the Trans-Siberian Railway or something, just sort of going through a lot of the mountains of Russia. <laughs> That'd be interesting. When I started playing Train Sims, I think it was actually Train Simulator, uh, the only locomotive that was uh, steam locomotive was in, in Britain. It was a British uh, locomotive. But all the signals and everything were on the, on the fireman's side. So... But all the controls are on the on the engineer side, so it was it was hard to to see the controls and manipulate the controls and see the the signals. It was still played the crap out of it. That <laughs> as like my one of my first introductions to uh, Steam simulations. Yeah, I've been playing Train Simulator since my dad's copy of Microsoft Train Simulator on his old Millennium Edition laptop. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Microsoft Train Simulator, it didn't have, well, it, some maps had, like, different gauges, but, like, the bits that you would run on were all just one gauge. So you could load a standard gauge locomotive onto a narrow gauge railway and it would just scale it down to fit. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing I came along to help push you up this hill. It's good job you didn't go first. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I have really. Coming this way, I'm not going to be able to unload the beams, I don't think. I've got to be filled up again. Oh, it's all right. I'll, uh, I'll jump off the regulator right here and we'll get you unloaded recommend setting a break because it's not uh, completely level. <laughs> yeah. As I found out while I was trying to unload. <laughs> <laughs> we can go one more car. Whoop. Oh, sorry. Because <laughs> I can't see. It's, it looks empty from, oh. from my perspective. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's one last one. <laughs> A little more half car. There we go. All right. Now you can back up. Now we got plenty of space. Why am I slowing down? My foot has gone cold. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, mine is too. <laughs> warm up and hope it does before the compressor runs out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, Milzy likes those S curves. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I managed to go down there with barely any brakes, so. Okay. <laughs> Depends how brave you're feeling. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to save it. <laughs> I mean, in all the trips I did, I only lost the uh, the box car, and that didn't have any weight in it. So. Right. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Mysterious is like in the middle of your train too. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-three miles an hour at the bottom of this hill. Ooh, we are moving along. Oh, 
by our awesome waterfall. Oh no, I lost a car. Uh oh, right in the river. <laughs> Yeah, you've got two cars loose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm at full. Oh, I nearly got on them. <laughs> I'm at full brake, trying to catch up, slow down a little bit. Oh no. Yeah, now I can't couple them. Of course, it's got to be a blizzard too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I bounced it. Oh, no. Weird rough glitches going on, though. I have no idea why I'm about to hit you there because I can't see. <laughs> Here, I'll see if I can turn on my lantern. That helps you see me. I see you. I'd slow down a little bit. <laughs> well, I'm coming to the uphill bit, so... Perfect. Thank you. The clips are warmed up by now. Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> Ah, oh, one car made it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Took one of uh, these curves right by the river at uh, 28 miles an hour, and the whole train just went off the rails. No worries. <laughs> Yeah, this bit of, I've, I've built this bit, so that's technically my fault, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's all your fault that uh, a speeding train can't stick to your rail. <laughs> oh, because we've got, cause we've got a, a speedo in the train now, we can work out how fast John Roverson can run. Oh, yeah, huh. <laughs> I was cruising at about I... 10 there, and you were running ahead of me, so... Find out. Rolling about 12. I'm gaining. So probably 12, 15 it's miles an hour? Somewhere between 12 and 13, I think, yeah. That's 13. Yeah, 14, I'm starting to overtake again. It's probably still slowing down. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to wait for you to. <laughs> I got to remember to push. Push a button to unload. I'm gonna unload this one right here. There we go. Now the big question: What are you gonna do now? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. How do we get? We have to like reverse and do this big old loop thing or something, right? Let me yeah, check, uh, that or we yeah. could disconnect, run ahead to the turntable. Because I think we can drive over to that now. Oh. Dis oh, disconnect the train, run ahead to the turntable, then drive in front of the train, and then hook up to it. Yeah. The back of the train. That sounds like a lot of work. I think... I don't remember how... Let's see. I'm tracing it out on the... Well, if you're trying to let you figure it out... <laughs> Alright, well that wasn't horrible. Uh, Let's see if I can climb the grade back up to the iron ore mine. Oops, I flipped the wrong switch. <laughs> oh, silly.
silly me. <laughs> Nothing like expecting the turn and you go straight. <laughs> Wait till we've got like big transfer yards. It's gonna make the junctions as complicated as possible just to annoy everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I like your design, that that big rail yard that you were designing. I I I like it. It's huge. And I completely feel your pain about logging all those trees. Yeah. As I said before, I mean compared to some games we've got it fairly easy. We just click a button and the tree's gone. Whereas like farming sim, you gotta buy a chainsaw, you gotta line it up, and then you gotta Throw away the stump as well. Yep. <laughs> it's either some part of my video. I'd be curious to see how easy it would, or how difficult it would be to play the game without cutting down any trees. I don't think it's possible, honestly, unless you build above them. There's some gaps I think you can get through, but it's to, if you've got like trees that are like built in where you need to unload platforms, it's going to be annoying. Yeah, so you would have to cut down those ones, otherwise you wouldn't be able to, you know, complete the, the tasks. Maybe expand the scope of the challenge to be cut as few trees down as possible. Well, okay, well then what's a few? Three? You can cut down so, three trees? <laughs> well, you can, have, you can have levels for it, sort of like, failure if you go over a thousand, bronze for a thousand to five hundred, silver five hundred to like two hundred. Oh, that'd and then be anything below 200 is gold. <clears throat> that would be interesting. Maybe platinum if you manage to get it down to double digits. <laughs> and fail if you sky bridge across like the top for no reason. That would be a challenge of it in itself. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of sky bridging, I'm, I'm curious when we get to the uh, um, oil refinery about trying to do some uh, rolling unload platforms. <laughs> kind of like what we have with the smelter? Yeah, but you'd have to you'd have to go I think for the lumber platform you might get away with a rolling unload platform. But the steel pipes, I think the only way to do it would be to bridge over the top at a 90 degree angle. <laughs> oh, that's right, because they're so far offset. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Either that or have the bridge really, really high so you can clear the oil tanks. Oh, you'd have to be like a like a bomber on a you know airplane to drop the <laughs> yeah. some high precision you know bombing. <laughs> it's whether the pipes can like last long enough to. To hit the platform as well, because obviously if they they don't hit anything within a certain amount of time, it just despawns. <laughs> we're miles away from having to do that yet, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're. <laughs> I might do some experiments on the on my save. See, see what plans I can come up with. Let me know if when you arrive. I'll if I'm still here, I'll back up out of your way so you can unload and go. You'll be I think much I'm faster. Gonna make it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'm down to two MPH. <laughs> like still like two or three corners away. Just crawling up. I don't. I don't know if it's gonna stop completely. <laughs> <laughs> Stay on the tracks, tender. <laughs> it's wobbling all over the place. <laughs> That'd be great right now. Just derail right here. Oh, like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh well. Well, I'll come get you. <laughs> I don't need a tender to pull you up the hill. <laughs> oh, there's some weird, floaty, decent popcorn stuff. <laughs> Your bar up? Yes. Okay. 
hopefully you can bonk. <laughs> There it goes. All right. You ready? Reverse and forward, break All off, right. break off, break off. And of course, trial doesn't have his tender, so <laughs> that's, that's, that's par for the course. <laughs> oh, it did 80 in post. Whoa! Uh, I disconnected and I had you know full reg obviously, and I just took off like a like a rocket. Uh, out of there. Done that a little... Oh, for goodness sake! Oh no! Did I, did I do it too? <laughs> you know early what we were struggling? That's a lot of hundred percent brush. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one had a hundred percent? My, my loco on that turned it off when we just when we connected up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, the comments are gonna be livid. <laughs> Lots of shenanigans. Not intentional shenanigans. It's the best kind. Maybe we should rename the city Accidental Derps and Shenanigans, were we? <laughs> Stop. 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 Please stop. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> Train's kind of running down the hill without the locomotive now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How'd that happen? <laughs> it just fell off. <laughs> the locomotive fell off? Yep. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, hang uh, on one second. So, um, hmm. <laughs> I fell up at the Bama's Bridge, but I don't know if the train is going to survive <laughs> that journey on its own. I mean, it might. Oh, I see you right ahead of me. Oh. There it is! Oh, <laughs> whoa! whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> 100% oh tap the brakes! I'm off! I'm off! I was stay on! There we go! Okay, alright, alright, alright. Break! Yeah, that was kind of scary looking. I didn't know what that was coming barreling towards. No. <laughs> like, oh, that's a tinder. <laughs> I mean, it was it was going about 29 when the loco fell off. <laughs> so if it's continued speeding up, it pro probably wow. like the mid 30s there. All right, I'll go grab the the locomotive. I don't think it's my day today. My journey seems to be getting progressively worse. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hey, I'm inside inside the locomotive. Uh, wrong way around. Uh, yes, it is the wrong way, uh, but I'm stuck. I can't actually move. Oh, I just jumped. I'm. Whoa! Uh oh. <laughs> well, well, see you later. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh man, you gonna ride with me? Yeah. That's putting a lot of faith in me. <laughs> well, I'm stood where there's two brakes. So. <laughs> Hit the save button. <laughs> Alright. 22 miles an hour currently. I'm not going to touch the brakes anymore. Let's see how it does. <laughs>
Alright, we stayed together that time. Are you using the brakes at all? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's probably smart. <laughs> Ninety-five out of a thousand. <laughs> nice. We are on our way. I'm gonna get over there and see how big this pile is. I can. There we go. But someone was mentioning in the comments that the pile, if we got it completely full, would be interfering with the track above. And I don't know because it's kind of off to the side, and we're gonna be using this pile as well. So we need more cordwood too, don't we? Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And leave a comment below. It really does help us out. Let us know how we're doing. Uh, Tidmouth, do you have any parting words of wisdom? Uh, well, pretty much same same story, really. Just uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the join button on my channel as well. Uh, feeling so inclined. Oh, that's right. Uh, I'm trying to try to post new videos every Thursday, hopefully. Nice. Every Thursday. Is there you actually going to set a schedule? I'm trying to. I've, I've managed to go for about a month so far. So. Right on. Well, thank you so much again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye.